And here is the Writer's Almanac for Thursday. It's the 1st of April, April Fool's Day, 2021. April Fool's Day, a day for pranks and hoaxes. Joseph Boskin, a professor of history at Boston University, said the practice dated back to the reign of Emperor Constantine, who was challenged by his court jesters that a fool could run the empire as well as he did. So he appointed a jester king for the day, and one of the jester's acts was to decree an annual day of merriment. The story ran in the Associated Press and a couple of weeks later discovered that Professor Boskin had made the whole thing up. It was a hoax. And many people suspected a hoax when on April the 1st, 2004, Google announced its new Gmail service. But indeed, it was for real. It's the birthday of Anne McCaffrey, born Cambridge, Massachusetts, 1926, best known for her Dragon Riders of Pern science fiction fantasy series about Earth colonists on the planet of Pern living in a medievalish society with genetically engineered dragons. It's the birthday of the pianist and composer Sergei Rachmaninoff, born in Novgorod, Russia, 1873. He was in the middle of writing his famous second piano concerto when his first symphony got not very good reviews, and he stopped writing music for three years. It was a nervous breakdown, and he was finally able to overcome it by visiting a psychiatrist who, each time the two of them met, said the same exact words to Rachmaninoff. He said, you will write your concerto, you will work with great facility, the concerto will be of excellent quality. It's the birthday of the novelist Francine Prose, born Brooklyn, 1947, author of Household Saints about an Italian butcher and his schizophrenic daughter, and Blue Angel, a satire on academia and writing workshops. Francine Prose, who went to Radcliffe, dropped out of grad school after she read Gabriel Garcia Marquez's novel, 100 Years of Solitude, which inspired her to write. She's written over 30 books of fiction and nonfiction, including a book on the craft of writing, Reading Like a Writer, in which she advises people who want to be writers to read and to read widely. Here's a poem by Joyce Sutphin, The Owl. I hear it for a while, before I hear it, that is, before I realize I'm hearing a bird call from deep in the woods, behind the house across the street. It's an owl, a barred owl, I guess, making the familiar, who cooks for you, who cooks for you all, call. If I could see her, I'd see her head swivel a half circle just before she leans in and pushes out that cry one more time. I've just finished reading Brecht's question about the dark times and the answer, yes, there will be singing about the dark times. Why do these somewhat bitter words make me smile? Why do I lift my head, shake my hair free, and leap to my feet, clapping my hands together? A poem by Joy Sutphin, The Owl. Used by permission of the poet here on The Writer's Almanac. Funded by donations from listeners like you. Now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.